Hey guys, this is Tattoo Tony, and today we're going to explore a theater that was built in the 1920s. So this theater was um, built in 1928. Uh, it was built on the site of a theater that was built, I believe, in 1905, but it was destroyed by a fire in 1927. So this opened in February of 28 with performances by Al Jolson and George Jessel. If you don't know who Al Jolson is, he's an entertainer uh, back from the 20s, really goofy stuff. Um, anyways, look it up. Al Jolson, G O, excuse me, J O L S O N. Um, the theater had 1,767 seats and was equipped with a Wurlitzer theater organ. And uh, in 1928, a Vitaphone sound system was installed, so it became one of the first uh, theaters in Southern Illinois to uh, play talkie movies. Talkie meaning talking. Um, it closed in 1960. Now this theater is owned by the city that it's in and like the rest of downtown has been in a state of decay for years. Um, this place was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in uh, 1985. And uh, I'm going to see... if I can come up with any more details. Well, the original theater that it replaced was built in 1907. Uh, this building is a Spanish uh, Gothic um, style of architecture. It's in the Spanish Gothic uh, style. Um, the second part to this video, I'll show more of the exterior of the building so you can see the whole thing. Um, the building's front facade had patterned mosaics. The front facade also features piers with decorative peaks and tall arched windows. The theater attracted numerous celebrities and it represented several firsts among cinemas in the city. It was also the first uh, cinema in the city with modern with a modern air conditioning system. Um, and again, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1985. Okay, here, uh, right back there, we we're taking a look at the stage, I believe. The stage has collapsed in. I was able to find a few photographs online that showed the stage before it collapsed. Um, there's a pit below it. Uh, there was a couple boards where you could walk across there, but it looked pretty dangerous, and I didn't think there was much to see. So, And now this door starts to go into the theater area, I believe. There may have been a, a pit down in front.
here you see um, some of the I don't know ornamental uh, work from the interior of the theater it must have really been quite spectacular uh, a long time ago I found a website that says um, that's called after the last curtain close I believe and there's pictures of all these old theaters in the United States that are no longer in use and are closed down and it's just amazing what's happening in this country as far as our cool um, architectural history and the state of decay that it's in and uh, just what's happening through um, a loss of jobs and industry and historic areas resulting in a decline in revenue and areas becoming impoverished and our history sitting and falling into decay and crumbling I think that we really ought to try to stop this slow it uh, more people need to care I guess because our history is just crumbling and what we're gonna be left with is suburbs and strip malls and you know very boring modern architecture The theater um, that this is, the name it bears, there are still some theaters in the United States with the same name that are still open, and I've seen pictures of those front facades and inside the theaters, and uh, they're amazing. This was probably also an amazing place. As you can see from the little bit of the facade I showed you, I have quite a bit more footage of the front, and as I mentioned, that will be in the next video. The next video will go um, up to the top, the balcony. Uh, we'll go inside the front of the theater where the box office, I guess, would have been and uh, also uh, into the projection booth and some other areas of the theater. That is the edge. of the man words always escape me I don't know what's wrong with me um, the balcony that was the edge of the balcony this is the ceiling there's really a quite grand um, ornamental round thing in the middle of the theater that I'm not sure I've seen it in photographs I'm not sure if it's captured in my footage just because it was really high up and um, you really need a heck of a light, a beam of light, to uh, light it up. Wow, look at that. What do you suppose that was? What was under that? An air conditioning vent? No? I mean, it's an opening. There's several of them. They run all along. This is underneath the balcony. Look at that, it's recessed and it's kind of domed inside of that. The best architecture, the best craftsmanship, all the most beautiful things that we have are sitting in decay. 
uh, near old urban centers. Unfortunately, these days, if this building was to be able to res be restored, um, they'd have a hard time getting customers to come over there. So uh, that's all. Keep your eyes out for part two. Um, I'll try to get it up sometime soon. Th thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing. And I uh, appreciate all your support. Have a great day.